am the greatest. What's up, guys? Marcellus Williams, aka the Swole Professor, here to educate you on health, fitness, social well being. It is now 10 30 at night, guys. I'm about to go to bed. Powerlifting meet is tomorrow, but I have to be there at 7 in the morning because weigh in check ins are at 7 and then we start lifting at 9. So, since I know I'm probably not going to have to wake up even earlier to, you know, record the intro and everything like that, I'm doing that right now. Um, wanted to take you guys really quickly through exactly kind of like what all I have to bring for tomorrow for the check-in and weigh-ins. And you'll see it once we're actually there, but just so you guys have an idea. Because, like, you know, if there's a line, I don't want to have to be trying to record everything as I'm checking it in. So, I'm going to take show you guys really quickly what all I have to have. So, starting off. Yeah, I mean, this is just what I'm going to be wearing to the meet itself. You know, rocking pump chasers, fitted hoodie, pump chasers, joggers. But what I actually need for the meet itself, right? So, cotton t-shirt. So, I got my pump chasers performance shirt right here. Uh, this is technically 95% cotton, but I don't think they're going to trip over that. We'll see. I'll bring an next one just in case. My actual SBD singlet, which we are required to wear. But as far as singlets goes, mine's pretty dope. Mine's pretty cool. Uh, got my wrist wraps for both squat and bench. Ooh, about to be promiscuous. Underwear. So our underwear for um, has to be legless, guys. I'm not sure why. I think some nonsense about they don't want the legs supporting us or something, as if that actually helps you <laughs> lift more weight. But anyway. And then um, deadlift socks right here, guys. As you guys can see, I haven't quite opened them yet. Uh, funny story. So back when I was sumo deadlifting, before I switched over to conventional just a couple months back, I had these exact same socks, but I pretty much tore through them completely because my sumo is very, very strict. So, like, I'm really pulling it right at my shin, so I just destroyed them. So got those. And then SPD knee sleeves for squatting. And then aside from that, we've got uh, red chucks that we're going to be benching and deadlifting in. Squat shoes and of course lever belt. 13 millimeter forever enzer lever belt. So yeah. That is pretty much it guys. That's everything that we're gonna have to have to check in. Oh um, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm quite partial to a red and black. <laughs> anyway, um so I woke up at 163 pounds this morning, so I'm right at the very top of my weight class, right where I need to be. Um, I had my dinner pretty early, or early for me anyway. I had around like 7.30 or 8. And yeah, I'm about to just go to bed early, guys. I usually, I'm usually up till about 1, 2 in the morning. Since I'm really busy during the day, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Like a lot of my reading, my research, video watching, emails, everything like that. Writing out programs for you guys. But um, since I had to be up so early, I'm obviously going to go to bed early. But anyway, when you guys next see me, it will be me day. And we'll be on our way there. Alright guys, so for those of you who are unaware, I'm at the uh, Arlington Strength Classic. This is my third powerlifting meet. My first two were with the UNT powerlifting team. I competed in the 2015 Longhorn Open and the 2016 um, what was it, Texas Strength Classic. And this is my third meet. My goals for today are a 1,300 pound total. Hopefully my third first place win in my weight class and maybe best pound for pound. I only realized today that one of my old teammates, Taskin, who's uh, two weight classes under me, but number one in the U.S. in his weight class and his weight score is stupid. Like I've got him on bench and squat, but his deadlift is insane. And because of the weight, body weight to weight ratio, he may give me on best pound for pound. But regardless, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. Got friends coming. And this meet is actually being co-hosted by the UNT powerlifting team. So I can see some old teammates as well as the fact that uh, some of the pump chasers should be coming through as well. So I'm, I'm excited for today, guys. And I mean, most of you guys probably know all that stuff already, but that's just for any of you where this is like the first video you've seen of mine. So anyway, walking in right now to the activity center. And then, uh, like I said, I'll weigh in, check in, and then kind of explain the process to you guys from there. All right, guys, so sign my waiver. Pretty much just saying that, you know, I know what meat this is, that I'm not doing drugs, because they'll drug test you on site here, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. And then I've got my card that shows um, name, weight class, age, and then I have to fill in my 
my opening attempts for when I, uh, for my first attempts on squat, bench, and deadlift. I'll go over that more later, guys. And then up here, I got my rack height 13, and the squat rack is out. Because over here, that's where we test our rack heights. And now I'm about to test my rack height for bench, and then um, go way in from there. So this is Taskin. The guy I was telling you about, number one. What's your weight class, man, again? 59 kilos, so like 130 and below. Number one, the U.S. Look at, look at that, guys. Look at that. It's so clean. It's so clean. He's so special. And I hate him. <laughs> Here's Stein. He's competing too. Just finished uh, getting his rack. He's about to weigh in, see if he's overweight or not. <laughs> Feeling a little heavy, man? Feeling yeah, like you might might not make it? Heavy as fuck, actually. Um, I already weighed in, guys. I'm good to go. Um, the top of my weight class is 163, 74 kilograms. I weighed in at 160. To 163.36, so I'm good to go. But anyway, uh, I'm about to go with this guy. Weigh in with him. What? Huh? What'd you say? Oh, none said we're going with you to we're watch you go weigh in. Way. Yeah. The verdict, bro. You, you pregnant? 73.3. All right, all right. Yeah, I was like. 0.7. You're below me. I was 73.8, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I barely. I barely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, correction, guys. I told you guys my bat was like 163, but it's like that's 162.36 in pounds. That's what I weighed in. All right, guys, so we're just chilling here weighing right now. We're all set up. We haven't started warming up yet because they're still figuring out all the divisions since so everybody's weighing in. So we probably won't be starting until about like 10, 10.30, and it's like... Yeah, it's like 9.37 right now, so we may be still about 30, 45 minutes to wait. But um, long story short, guys, here's how it's going to work. So it goes by weight class and division, right? We're each going to have three attempts. So everyone is going to do um, like all three of their squat attempts, then all three bench attempts, then all three deadlift attempts. The point is to try to do a little bit more on every single attempt. So, you know, the first attempt is going to be like an opener. It's something that I know for sure I can hit. My second attempt. Um, how you pick your second attempt is going to depend. If you want to make sure you PR on your third, then it's basically a warm up for your third. If you're just going three for three, you want to get all nine lifts, then your goal is going to pretty much just to make sure each number is something you've been hit, so just bump it up a little bit. What I'm doing is my openers are warm ups for my seconds. My seconds, I'm essentially going to do my best to uh, PR from my last beat. So my seconds are all higher than my thirds from last time. And then for my thirds, I'm going to just try to shoot for that PR to get a 300 pound total. So. That's kind of my game plan right now. And you know, it can change. You know, some people you see them based off what your competition's lifting, you may change your list. I don't plan on doing that. I don't plan on changing what I'm gonna do for somebody else. But that's pretty much how it's gonna run. So you guys will see it as we go. Hey, right, what's your name? Follow me. Tango 2 code. <laughs> that's the channel. T-A-N-G-O 2 K-O-L-D. This is my boy David, VP of the UNT Power Team is also competing today. I want to introduce you guys. Words for the people. What's up, guys? Um, this guy, let me tell you a little story about this guy. Um, it was really funny because me and the president both saw him at the rec within like two days, and we went up to each other, uh, the president and I, and we were like, hey, there's this guy who works at the rec. She's like, yeah, I just spoke to him. I was like, I was going to go talk to him so he can join the powerlifting team. Um, we got to talking to him a little bit, and he was very heavily interested. A couple of his friends came out and joined as well. Um, so this guy, one of the original, original powerlifters of the University of North Texas powerlifting team, helped us start the team, and man, he, he was been the most committed that we've ever had, and uh, really set a good pace for all the other guys and girls uh, to fall behind him on. Because uh, he's a true leader, man, and I'm just, I'm just glad to have you, man. Seriously. I'm on. He's about to make me cry for real, man. No, but guys, I would not be the college that I am today without this dude. Very inspiring, motivating, was a great leader, great coach. I'm looking forward to competing with him. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yep.
Go Marcellus. Go Marcellus. Lightweight, three lights again. Let's go, Marcellus. Come on, get high. Let's go. Come on, man. I tried to make sure I got right wheel parallel. Shoot back up. Oh, yeah. It was a grind in the middle, but I got it. So definitely happy with that squad. Probably gonna be like the highlight of my day from this point on. Yeah. Get at least 500 deadlifts, I still beat my old total, so 
We'll see how I feel after my second attempt on that and then see what I got with third. <laughs> Get that third attempt on deadlift. If I would have, it would have been 1,300 pounds. I was trying to make up for it too if I lock it out, but I'm still gonna drug test it, so I'm about to do that right now. You're gonna leave a blue line and you want it to go right across these railroad tracks right here. That Chaco. Damn, he's a little tiger. Got them square marks. He said he ever tried frosted flakes. Right. Could not have gone smoother, dude. They only they only notify you um, if they find something, and they'll send they'll either send you a letter in the mail or shoot you an email with a letter. So these are Pete. Congratulations. Have a good one. Yeah. Have a good day. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not walking all the way up there. <laughs> and in first place, Marcellus Williams. Yeah! <laughs> Alright guys, so, got first place, so that was one goal accomplished. Didn't get best pound for pound lifter, of course, I, I, as I expected, Taskin got that. The dude just moves a lot of weight for what he weighs, even though like I outlifted him, the way the best pound for pound works is like your relative strength as far as what you weigh compared to how much you're lifting. So he got that and I didn't get the 1300 pound total. So basically guys, 500 or 501 technically went really well. And I easily could have done like, you know, anything from like 512 to like 520 probably been okay. But I went for the 534 because had I gotten that, it would have made up for my bench and I would have gotten the 1300 pound total. And that's what I'm most upset about more than anything else was the bench. So like I already told you guys, I just, I didn't respect it on my first attempt with it. And then with the third attempt, my mind was right. My intensity was there, but I was spent and couldn't get it, but it's just a learning experience. So the road to 1300 continues. I'm going to continue to like try to build everything up. I'm very happy with the squat. Glad I got that over 450 pounds on that. Going to really start working more on like just technique as far as for powerlifting with bench as far as like you know learning more about leg drive maybe widening my grip a little bit i'm still not crazy on doing a crazy excessive arch just for health reasons but um we'll see how that goes and then with deadlift that's the one thing guys i don't regret going for the 535 because i already beat my old meat total regardless so that's great and even though i could have maybe gotten like you know a 1290 total instead of my totals like 1264 or whatever 
it was worth it because I really have a better idea of what I can do. I've never touched anything over 500 before today. And the fact that I got 535 off the ground and even though it was a grind, like the fact that I was that close, definitely happy about it. But that's pretty much it. Thank you to all of you who've been supporting me. Like even this morning, just all the comments on the videos and Instagram messages saying, hey, good look at your meat. I appreciate you guys so much. You make all this worth it. You make being consistent with the videos worth it. Because you guys don't just watch, you like you give me feedback, and I appreciate that so much. But yeah, that's it. So be on the lookout for new informative content this upcoming week. Other than that, you already know. Like the video, share, subscribe, keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later. I am the greatest. Come on, look power. Come on, look power.